Tip one, divide into chapters based on the questions or vibe. Tip two, use multiple music tracks based on the different chapters. Number three, visualize a significant quote with text on screen. Number four, make the nameplate a significant moment. Number five, Ken Burns in or out, side to side. Number six is using stock footage. And number seven is using the producer's voice. Dividing the interview itself into chapters based on the different answers. So that could be based on the topic that they're speaking about or based on the general vibe of how they're, how they're talking about it. So let me just show you this interview clip I've got right here. He's talking about different things within the Catholic, uh, within Catholicism. Within this, I've got these four chapter markers, as you can see, that I've done previously. And they're all based on different topics. So first one talks about funerals, exorcisms, the third one is about denominations, and the fourth one is about the process of delivering an exorcism. I don't know. I don't know much about this. It's just an interview clip I found on uh, archive.org. <laughs> Don't overlook the YouTube audio library. Like seriously, there's some good stuff there. So if you've got the first chapter and in the interview, they're being a bit more kind of light, you know, not, not too crazy. It's more kind of calm or something. Then you want to find a track that matches that. So go to mood, calm. There we go. So all of these songs will kind of match that. Go to genre, maybe make it a bit more specific. So cinematic, and then have a play around, listen to them, see what you think would fit. I found that uh, this one, kind of fits. You know, I think that sounds kind of cool. Then when you've got the different music tracks, so I've got three in this case, just import them into your editing software and there we go. That's three different sounds, three different vibes to play around with. And again, change the pace as the viewer watches. Okay, tip number three is about putting their quotes into the real world, is to making their text and their message seem a lot more kind of real and significant. So the way you do that is you find a significant quote, you find a line that they're saying that you feel is a bit more powerful, and you literally type it on screen as a quote, okay? So let me find one right here. There's one right at the start where he says... Hey, pe people are basically, we're all spiritual beings, whether we, whether we call ourselves Christian or Buddhist or whatever, Jewish, whatever, we're, because we all have a soul. That. We're all spiritual beings because we all have a soul. We're all spiritual beings because we all have a soul. Sorry for that accent. Um, so that's something that is kind of, it, it's the key to his whole interview. So therefore I feel that could really work as a, as a brought out text on screen quote. Okay, here we go, time to have a look. So let me get rid of the inspector there and let's watch. People are basically, we're all spiritual beings, whether we, whether we call ourselves Christian or Buddhist or whatever, Jewish, whatever, we, because we all have a soul. I've talked about this stuff at mass sometimes. We all have a soul. If you do that three or four times throughout the whole interview, maybe add some real flair to the text, make it animated, make some colors, maybe pop up one word at a time, then you've really, really helped make a boring interview a bit more exciting. So in an interview, you're sometimes trying to get the, the viewer to intimately know the interviewee in 10 seconds flat. So one of the ways to do that is to present their name to them in, a, in an interesting way. Don't just fade up in the lower thirds like this. That's so boring, everyone does that. Don't do that. Do something a bit more funky. We all have a soul. So that's what makes us spiritual. And I do think, I talk about this at funerals all the time, there's, there is, a, there is a, a DNA in us that says origin. Why am I here? What am I doing here? And what happens when I die? So you see that? That moment of seeing his name on screen was a real kind of moment, basically. <laughs> Cropping into the subject, whatever it may be, and either doing a slow crop or cropping in and moving to the side, moving up and down, blah, blah, blah. It's whatever you want. It's a moment where the interviewee is saying something significant, okay? So let me click play. You have all of this codified new new age language, a celebration of life. There's no longer a funeral. And a celebration of life has- but That sounds quite cool. There's no longer a funeral. You always go, a celebration of life, blah, blah. What you do is find the individual clip then go down to the bottom left of the viewer here, arrow, crop, 
the Ken Burns, then you can choose where to start or end the Ken Burns effect. So I want to see the, the emotion on his face. So not now, but in a minute. So here we go, okay? That's the start green and the end red. So if I click done now, it will do this. You have all of this codified new, new age language, a celebration of life. There's no longer a funeral. See how there, that sounded like it was a real significant moment. Okay, we're, we're approaching the point of his argument. There's no longer a funeral, we're no longer a celebration of life, you know, whatever he's saying. That's what the point of that is. You can do different kinds of Ken Burns as well. So you can do ones like this, zoom in a little bit, 150%, then keyframe the X and Y position, or just the X position in this case there, then go to the end of the clip, new keyframe there. Now you've got this kind of Ken Burns. You have all of this codified new, new age language, a celebration of life. There's no longer a funeral. Cool, tip number six is using stock footage. Again, it goes back to this uh, using the resources that are available to you, like the music. There are so many websites out there that have this amazing free stock footage that you can legally use. Now, of course, the license is very individual, so don't take my word on this, but I'm using vidivo.net. So if I go onto video there, and then search, I don't know, religion, that kind of fits. Then filters, only the free clips. Then I can find all of these clips that I can put in my interview as long as I credit the author, or credit the website, or something like that. Cool, so now I've imported a bunch of these stock clips into my software here. So after our little introduction text here with him as a nameplate, and let's see how it looks. A DNA in us that says origin. Why am I here? What am I doing here? And what happens when I die? And I mean, you look at the obituary columns, at least around the California, I can't speak for the rest of the country. You have all of this codified new, new age language, a celebration of life. There's no longer a funeral. And there we go, it runs into our little Ken Burns straight away seamlessly. So there we go, that's stock footage. And you can get all of these stock footage clips for free as long as you credit the author. Uh, but you know, every license is individual, so you work out what's best for you. Cool, and finally, tip number seven is to include the producer's voice or the director's voice. Um, so sometimes when you're filming an, in an interview over, you know, like 20 minute period, you'll have the director or the producer asking the interviewee questions. Now, because of the way the microphones are set up, they might pick up a bit of that audio. So in the diocese, just so that I quote, 65 have exorcists of 185. Now that's quite cool. He's talking about exorcisms. <laughs> he asks, okay, 65 have exorcisms. So for that moment, let's turn it up plus 12 decibels. So you can really hear it, man, it's too so loud. So in the diocese, just so okay. okay, carry on the music as well, like this. Maybe turn the music down a little bit. Then fade out the audio at the end so you don't catch any last little bits. And something that really works here is to actually put the producer's question on the screen because sometimes it'll be such bad audio that you can't understand it. So in the diocese, just so that I quote, 65 have exorcists of 185. 70. 70. Yeah. And there's probably a few others. You see how that gave it a kind of more raw, real, almost like we're listening in on their conversation kind of feel. So let's watch what we've done so far and see how it looks. We're all spiritual beings, whether we, whether we call ourselves Christian or Buddhist or whatever, Jewish, whatever, we're, because we all have a soul. I've talked about this stuff at Mass sometimes. We all have a soul. So that's what makes us spiritual. And I do think, I talk about this at funerals all the time, there's, there is, a, there is a, a DNA in us that says origin. Why am I here? What am I doing here? And what happens when I die? And I mean, you look at the obituary columns, at least around the California, I can't speak for the rest of the country. You have all of this codified new, new age language, a celebration of life. There's no longer a funeral. So in the diocese, just so that I quote, 65 have exorcists of 185? 70, yeah. And there's probably a few others. Wow, look at that. We've just, we started with nothing. We started with just that bland, basic interview and we created a feeling right there.
If this Jam Punch tutorial was a help to you, then please give this video a like and subscribe and tell your friends because that's just kind of cool. We like to share information, don't we? Unless you're one of those kind of selfish videographers and like to have all the tips to yourself, but that's fine too. Either way, tell me below if there are any tips that you know that you think I should do because, you know, we're all learning every day. So, my name is George. I'll see you next week or the week after with another brand new Jam Punch tutorial.